Electrocution. Meditation. Exorcism. Hello, I'm Sebastian T. Bates. In tonight's installment of Video Music, the modern electric focus our gaze upon the mystery of one infamous black eye. Our unfaltering filmmakers enlist the help of a ravishing young doctor as we catch a glimpse into the making of Same Old Haunts. You haven't looked into the lens yet. Try looking into it. There it is. So it was Matt's turn to star in a video. It's strange for me to be the main focal point because I'm not the lead singer of the band and I'm, you know, I'm part of the rhythm section. <laughs> to keep yourself from chuckling, think really, really dark shit. Like, just too dark. You could say one. <laughs> We're kind of interested. No, you don't have to. Don't go there. Don't go to that dark <laughs> I, place I right now. I mean, like puppies dying, or, you know, like the like the office getting canceled. To look into the camera now. <laughs> okay, you're looking, and you could raise it up. <laughs> okay, wait, and go ahead and raise it up. <laughs> the tequila scene didn't make it in. I don't think it looked how you intended it to look, right? Yeah, I wanted to look super cool, and I looked like, you know, I could barely lift up the entire full <laughs> bottle. That's heavy. That in itself is difficult, and then to receive all of that fluid tequila. is also really difficult. <laughs> oh, wow, you got a little shiner there, huh? When did that? Yeah. Just popped up out of nowhere. It's sleeping. No, no, you weren't. <laughs> we knew we wanted to have a, a, a conjugal visit. <laughs> no, it's not what it's called, man. That's what people do in prison. I know, that's a whole nother scene that just didn't make it. Um, what? <laughs> we wanted a doctor's visit. We reached out to our friend and former drummer, Michael Hermelin, who is a real doctor. I felt the same intimidation that you get from a doctor or a dentist or something like that. I'm gonna write you a prescription for Dilaudid, okay? Keep looking at the lens. <laughs> this is one of the most impressive scenes we've pulled off. We shot all the different angles of that doctor's visit with that one blank wall just shuffling around what was hanging on it. So behind that we had the x-ray, so it looked like he was sitting up on you know, the doctor's bed. And that was the same wall that was behind the doctor. And there was just like some like medical posters behind him. Mm -hmm. And then another angle showed both of them in the same shot and we just turned them and it, it, it's all the same wall <laughs> behind them. And we were able to capture like a full room. It looked like a full room. Well, I think you have cancer. <laughs> You laughed. Go back. <laughs> Action. <laughs> it was kind of cool to actually use a real salon instead of like making a fake one like we did with the doctor's office. Um, we had access to one at the mall because my brother worked there. Yeah, Jared's brother was the hairstylist and then I asked my, uh, my girlfriend Jess to be the makeup artist. Two, one, go ahead. Too sexual. <laughs> Matt plays drums in a band called John's Little Sister and Jess Sykon's the lead singer and we asked her to be the holistic healer. Spiritual healer, yeah. Yeah, the Cleveland music scene is very connected. So in my band, Matt Childers plays drums for me from the Modern Electric. Um, and then my bass player and my guitar player were both from the band Jividen, who that's my brother's, my other brother's band. She knows a lot yeah, about she's very yoga, known, yeah. Reiki, meditation. She had that big fat blunt she lit and like waved yeah, around. I didn't get that. Yeah. No, it wasn't a big fat blunt. <laughs> it looks like one. And actually I've burned sage in my parents' house before and my dad's come home like, who was smoking weed in here? <sighs> the best technique to heal his black eye. When I was holding up my hands, that actually is a really common practice of energy healing called Reiki. Because you can do you can give yourself Reiki too. I mean, if you think about the heat that comes off of your body alone, if you consciously thought 
about healing his eye, just like this, and just like focus all of his energy on healing his eye, it would make it feel better for sure. Yeah, I mean, I've had real minimal experience with all of that kind of holistic hearing. I mean, one of my friends turned me on to yoni eggs, but aside from that, it's it's just been... Yoni eggs. Smoke them up. Okay, and go ahead and start acting. Go ahead and start acting, man. I'm recording, go ahead. My friend Barry was the priest. He was the exorcist. Yeah, I was in... Um musicals all through high school. Fiddler on the Roof. I was Fiedka. Uh one of the daughters of the guy. I don't I don't even one of the daughters? No, one of the daughters of the the main character. I was married to her. Oh. Fiedka is a man's name, I think. It doesn't sound like it. A little yeah, bit more. A little bit more. Cross. Yeah. Into. I read a few lines and then once I got like more into the acting aspect where I had to get louder and start yelling. And I just started doing the ABCs because you told me to do it, obviously. I'm not an actor, so I had to take whatever advice I could. You All right. Are You're getting louder, Barry. C U V. You're using your hands more, Barry. W. Yeah. X. Okay. Y now let's get loud. All, all of it. Shout. A B C D E F G. <laughs> there you go. H A little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> Barry had kids running around, so we had to keep them out of the room as we didn't want the kids to witness their yeah. father Daddy. shouting the ABCs <laughs> at the top of his voice. Daddy, why do you have that man tied up in your bed? This is goodness to the Lord with. D E F G H I J. My son and my daughter, Barry and uh, Isabel, were in the other room. They both know their ABCs now, so I don't know if it was traumatizing. I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> T U V W X. When you made the video, like it looked real. Like it looked like I was trying to get that demon out of him. It did freak out my wife a little. She was like, You can't do that in my house. I had started to get a little freaked out at what we were doing. You know, we had all these like Mary statues up. We had a rosary going and a Bible, and he was shouting stuff at it. And it was like, I don't know, it got a little real for me. Yeah, we'll have a lot of time to think it over in hell. <laughs> okay. And I don't even get, I don't even understand why he has black eye. How did you get the black eye? My last year of college. It was a super stressful time, and I, I had, I had a... You know not to use. Oh, so, it's like... And then, you know, that's just part of my struggle now, and I, I've learned to live with it, and I'm glad we got to uh, yeah. take this time to address it. Good.